Hey y'all, it is Vlogmas, day one girl, happy Saturday to you, I am on my way to the J-O-B, y'all know that right, anywho, y'all had a great day yesterday, oh my goodness, I, I was off yesterday, I didn't film not one video, cause what had happened was, I, I don't know, I stayed up late got up real early I was about to lay down and go back to sleep oh, shit. when Chris and Brian came in they had been out looking at houses or something girl y'all drop my ring and um, they came in and girl I was about to go to sleep honey I had just crawled over there on that chair I see my ring but I cannot get it I had just crawled over there on that chair girl honey and I laid down and as soon as I laid down them jokers came in the house and they were like get up let's go and I was like go where let's just hang out y'all my hands slippery now um let's just hang out and I was like hang out where we just gonna hang out I went with them. We had a good time. I always have a good time when I hang out with them. Yeah, they're trying to get me to... We wanted to do... My daughter has a boutique. So, they wanted... They're trying to get me to do a thrift store. And a boutique combined or something. I don't know. They wanted to do like one side of thrift store and the other side of boutique. So, they wanted us to go find some property. Um, like a storefront thing to rent. And... I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> let me, see. I don't know how to say it. Like, so I put my daughter on the job, job child, cause I got a job. I be having stuff to do and I, and she'll do it. She'll get it done. So she's going to be looking for a property, but we want to go into, which is a town where we grew up from, but it's, it's like expanded so much. So we figure, um, I know it would do real well down there. So I don't know, but but I got her on the hunt for a store, a storefront and stuff. I got them placed in mind, and I'm, I think um, the next time I'm off, I think that uh, we're going to go check it out because uh, I think that would be a, a good little spot, but I got to go check it out and see what's up. Um, but yeah, so so we messed around, threw that idea around for a while, and y'all, they trying to hype me up. Them guys are mess. Come on, you could do it. I know I could do it, but shit, that's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? And I got to be mentally prepared for it. But I think once we get into it, it will be fine. Um, and it's going to be called May's Closet after my grandma. So, and my daughter's got her own stuff going on. But the um, the name of the store, and I don't know if I would say a thrift store, because it's going be to be a gonna be a scale up from a thrift store. So... Do I say consignment shop? But I won't be like taking in. I don't know. I can't really explain. It's gonna be a a little bit. It's gonna be more boutiqueish than thrifty because it's got to be like some really nice pieces. You know what I'm saying? That I get in there. That's the plan. That's where my thought process is. Um. So yeah. Yeah, after my grandmother and and Brian, that's been his thing. He been wearing a snap out of me about a uh, about that like for a few years now. And he's like, Mom, I mean, dang, I keep telling you, you know what I'm saying. And my husband was like, Go ahead on, I mean, we gonna, you know, we got you. We gonna pay the rent. We gonna do this. We gonna do that for the storefront. So, yeah, I got my mind got to be on something, and my mind hadn't really been on it. So, I guess I'm I gotta put together a plan. Cause girl, somebody gonna do something for you. Hey, you gotta, you gotta go for it. You know what I'm saying? We can't just sit around and be like, I don't know, I don't know. Let me think about it, nah. Cause hey, sometimes God be sending you blessings, child. You can't be, you can't be dragging your feet on it. That's for sure. So I'm gonna start planning for that. But anywho, how many of y'all are ready for Christmas? Not me. Yeah, I love the holiday season so much that I. I was telling somebody Christmas night I'm depressed because it's over and I just oh my goodness like 
I don't be wanting it to be over. Oh, but I have a... Okay, so I created a Facebook page. It's called Working On Me. I think that's it. Working On Me. And I'll put it in the description bar below. Did I already put it in there? I don't know, but I'll put. I'll make sure it's in the description bar below. It's on Facebook, Working On Me. I also put a picture up there of me so that I can, so that y'all can identify it. Because I think it's another group called Working On Me or something like that. So it'd be easily, easily identifiable. And later on, I'm going to change the picture after, you know, a few of y'all get signed up or whatever. And I don't care, y'all, if it ain't the five of us. I, I really don't. I like to keep it intimate. If it's five, ten, however many, it does not matter to me. It's not in the, y'all know, it's not in the numbers for me, child. Because I like, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. So, um, I figured, yeah, working on me. I figured that was a good a good little name, right? Because we are working on us. And it could be tied to physically, mentally, you know, whatever. So I really do want it to be a little bit more intimate. And sometimes a, a group like that is more intimate than actually on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I mean, I just think it is. But so if y'all would join up, those of you that want to participate and, um, I'll be posting videos, but I'll also be putting, like, information in the group as well. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm, I'm really excited about it. Because, girl, I need it, hun. I really do. And I want to get something, some plans really together outside the gym. Because January and February, you really cannot get in the gym. It's like, a lot of times, I just don't even go to the gym in January and February because it's overwhelming. Look at this truck. I knew he was going to do that. Because it is so overwhelming because it's so many people in there. And I just, oh my goodness, it is just atrocious how many people are in there in January and February. So most of the time I go to the gym maybe like March or April through December. Just being honest because it's just too much. It's too, it's too bad. And it don't be no treadmills. It don't be nothing available, honey. But anywho... So, yeah, that, and I was going to tell y'all something else. Oh, my goodness. Oh, today is Candle Day at Bath and Body Works. Girl, I was online last night because if you were, uh, you know, whatever, their little rewards member or something, um, you got to shop last night. So, I ordered all my, I ordered like 15 last night. Jessica called, Jessica, Jessica called me at 5.15 this morning because she and I had talked about it. And I told y'all I was going to give her the money let her go. So, she called me no she texted me at 5 15 this morning was like okay i'm here what you want i was like girl you better do your thing so she got there at five like five fifty five o'clock and she texted me at 5 15 and y'all it was so funny because jessica and i are so much alike oh my goodness if we just are she that's my girl we just are she's so funny to me so i told her i was like you know we can't order online she was like well i'm here and i was like you there y'all she was the first one there <laughs> but the one that carrie opened up at six o'clock this morning so jesse was there at 5 15 that's my girl because i that's that's something i would do y'all i'm telling you so girl she she was in and out with our candles she was in there at six o'clock got our candles and she was out there so i sent her a list of stuff to get so because uh, yeah but anyway y'all know how how we do about candles child i i mean 8.95 that's cheaper it's normally ten dollars so they not you know about what a dollar five cent off because it's usually ten dollars but yes jessica did the thing and if i had known because I didn't want to overwhelm her, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I was going to get 10 because she said she only wanted 5. So I was going to get 10. But then when I saw I could order online, then they had some online exclusives too that I wanted to try out. And I really want some more, but I'm trying. I just went on and cashed app her the money and was like, okay, if I don't cash app you the money, I'll be sending a list. Keep sending a list. So I'm just going to send you the money. And this is what I can get. And boom. And she started laughing. But girl, that's my girl, y'all. Y'all should see my list my cash app uh thing for jessica because she always finding something she always doing something honey but anywho i just want to say hey y'all what's up start the day off i get off at five today and child i am so glad 
I don't mind working the first shift on the weekends. It's the weekdays, girl. I can't deal with first shift because the traffic be too bad. But um, I'm about to go on in here. Yo, I'm, oh, one of the first things, you know, to getting working on you is to plan. It's really to plan. Time to yourself and to plan. So Michaels have the fitness planners um, now for like 40% off. And so, I mean, you could choose to do, go that route or I don't care, just a planner. Get a planner. That's going to be the first thing that we do is that we need to get a planner because in order to succeed, you need to plan. You know what I'm saying? That's what I got to do about these stores. So in order to succeed, you have to plan. So go ahead and get your calendar. And some people use their phones. I personally don't like to use my phone. I personally like to be able to put it, you know, on paper. That's just me. I'm a pen and paper kind of girl. I'm not a phone kind of girl. My husband uses his phone. I had to tell him some years ago, you cannot run a business from a cell phone. Because he was trying his best, girl. I'm telling you, he was. But anyway, so I'm a pen and paper kind of girl. So I went on and bought my planner. So I want you to go ahead and plan to get you a planner, a piece of paper, a pen. Because it don't have to necessarily be a planner. Just you, you can use a notebook if you want to. I'm just extra sometimes. I know. That's why I told Jessica today. I said, girl, we so extra. And we are. Jessica and I are so extra. I'm going to see if she'll do a video with me one day. Because that is my girl. It is. And just because we do stuff for each other, you know, like, like I could be somewhere and I could think of Jessica and I'll just pick her up something. Or she could be somewhere she'll pick up, she'll think of me, she'll pick it up. And that's just how we do. We don't even, sometimes we don't even worry about money. We be like, you know what, don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's just how we roll. You know what I'm saying? That's my girl. And I really don't have nobody else I do that with, to be honest. Jessica is it. Jessica always doing something, but that's my girl. Anyway, let me get off of here, get on down this road. I need to call my husband real quick, y'all, and talk to him. I don't never listen to music. Y'all y'all know I be talking. I'm a chatterbox because I, I rarely listen to music on my way to work and from because, girl, I be on the phone the whole time, most of the time, burning my mouth, and I just left him, but we can still talk. Me and my husband be talking all the time. I'm going to be early today, y'all. I was so excited about them candles. So and Jessica took the candles to my office this morning. She was like, I'm gonna put your candles in your office. I was like, thank you, buddy. Oh, I got the red velvet cake. I don't know, I got something else. So I might place another order online. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna call my son-in-law because I know he going over today. So I'm gonna call him and tell him, Rob, pick me up about six, seven candles. I might say 10. I was going to see my husband. He talked like yesterday he might go. Him or Brian. Because Brian said he might go spend $50. Because girl, he cheap. But he said he might go spend $50. <laughs> he can get nine candles. So I'm going to call him and tell him. Brian, you can go get nine candles today. I mean, five candles. So if he go, then I know my husband will go. Then that will be more. Cause I, but I burn candles all the time, y'all. I really do. Anyway, I will holler back at y'all later. I might do another video today this evening i don't know i don't know yet y'all i'm thinking about getting a haircut i was telling i don't want to call her cyber mom i don't know i gotta think of a name for her mom number two i was telling her because she had take she had a taper cut and when i look back at my photos or my, my my photos and my videos when i had a taper cut and it was a little bit shorter i i love the look of those i really do and i'm so so thinking about it i don't know a part of me want to let my hair grow out and a part of me want to get a taper cut i don't know and i i don't know so tell me what y'all think should i get a taper cut or should i keep letting my hair grow my hair is actually doing really really good but i don't know what i want to do tell me tell me tell me in the um comment section below if i should get a haircut or if i should let it just let it ride for a little while let it ride to the summer or get it cut off uh, yeah i don't know y'all i'm getting that itch i am i'm getting that itch so bad but y'all let me know what y'all think and i will holler back at y'all in the next video bye girl i'll look for a video tomorrow bye